Hello guys, welcome back to Benny video. Today we're going to be doing a whiteboard video. Um, we're basically going to be doing this online. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do multiplication, adding, division, and all of those. But first, let's move on with a new thing we're going to learn. <laughs> Plus 2 plus 4x. Now, when you see this here, you'll see a 3x and a 4x. You're going to want to combine the like terms. Combining like terms means if you see 3x and another x, you combine those two. Oh, Therefore, I'm making a video. So 3x plus 4x equals, let's see, this is basically a uh, adding problem. 4 plus 3. 4 people and then 3 more come in. That's 5, 6, 7. That is 7 people. So 7 plus 2 is your answer because you're combining like terms. Now, let's begin everything here. Let's begin everything. So, let's just begin everything on here. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Once I erase this, this is a pain in the butt. Well, you have to erase this way. I have no idea. Okay, here we go. So, let's do 5x plus 3 plus 9x. You're going to combine your like terms. Again, it is 5 and 9. You do it 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, doing on your fingers, you don't have to be ashamed of that. I do it. So, it's 14 plus 3 is your answer. 14x. you got to make sure you put your x on there. So, anyway, let's do this. Right? So, we can undo. Come on. Undo something. All right. We we'll just have to do this again. We'll just do it on a different one now. All right. Let's move on with the next one we're going to be doing. Let's move on. Let's do negative three. We did these yesterday. Negative three plus five equals two. Your remainder of 2 because although you might think you're adding, it's not. Go check the last video to understand how to do this because this video will be showing you how to do everything that we've just, we just did. So, let's just begin. Alright? Let's do our next problem. So, 5 plus negative 3 equals 2. Because you're basically, although it looks like you're adding, you're not. Alright, you're basically minusing. But it's just plus, because basically you're taking this right here, negative 3. You're basically subtracting it. It's really complicated when you're new to it. And it, even for me, even though I know what I'm doing, it's still a little bit hard to explain. So, that's the answer. Um, let's do, neg let's do negative 5 plus 10. We did this problem exactly yesterday, the exact same problem equals a remainder of positive 5. So if this was negative 10 plus 5, the answer would be negative 5, as negative 10 is actually bigger in a way. So yeah, although, you know, it's smaller, if you subtract a bigger number from that number, it's basically like it. So we're going to explain it in a way. Our next problem we're going to explain. So 5x not 5x, oh my gosh. 5, negative 5, plus negative 15. Now, what this is, they're both on the same side, therefore you're adding them, and therefore you get the answer of negative 20, because you are adding. If these are both the same, they are both negative, you basically will get the remainder of negative 20. Now, if you were to times it, you would actually get a positive. So, say we did this, let's do this. Say we did times 15 
times 5. We can do it on here. Multiplication. We will get to how to do multiplication in a little bit. You take your 2 like that. Wait, it's a 5. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? 5. So, you put your 2 up above here. You, you take your 2 up there. You put your 5 down below. 5, well, five times 1 is 5. 6, 7. You get a remainder of 75. Therefore, it is positive 75. Because two negatives cancel out to make a positive when you're times it. So, let's move on with our next problem. We're going to move on with our next one. Come on, I think that beacon's going to show up for me. What? I just said no. You said no. Alright, moving on with our next problem. Sorry, guys. Moving on with our next problem. Let's do the font in red this time. And to change things up a bit, let's do it like this. So, let's say we have, for an example, we have here, this problem. Oh my gosh, forget this, man. I can hardly do this. Okay, here we go. 2x plus 5. Now, the way I did this before, it was not right, okay? The way I did this a few days ago, it wasn't right. It's actually right, but it's not at the same time. So, just take this and then ask the teacher how to do it next. Because right now, I'm going to have to go out to eat. I'm tired, which could be from, I'm not even going to say. So, anyway. Alright, let's continue this. That is going to be your answer. So, you're basically multiplying. Your times it. So, here we go. Ready? Let's do. A, oh my gosh! I'm not used to doing it on these. Three x plus five. Wait, five. Yeah. Take it like this. Take your three into your x. Three x. Three plus five is fifteen. So plus fifteen is your answer. 3x plus 15. Now, let's do our easiest one on here. It is just regular adding. So, 5 plus 1. So, 5 people here. Um, and then plus 1 equals, as there's 5 here, and then there's 1 up here, it equals 6. As your answer for 5 plus 1 equals 6. Moving on with your next problem. We're going to do a little bit harder. Alright, let's see here. Plus 2 equals your remainder of 7. So, basically, say you got 5 people on this side. Alright, you got 5 people, okay? You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 1, 2. Up here, we'll just say here in case you don't know what tally marks means. 2 equals 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Up here is 7, therefore your answer to 5 plus 2 equals 7. Let's move on to our next big problem that I am excited to do. It is 5 times 10. That means five people are in there. Ten times as ten times more than five people came in. So ten times, basically, ten more times than five. All right, just hear me out. Ten times the people that were in there before came in. Therefore, your answer is fifty. Timesing is basically ten. So basically, how you can do this is just by doing ten plus ten plus ten plus ten. Okay, that looks like a B, but you get it. It's plus 10. Your answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You got 1 here, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when you combine 5 of these, 10, so this is 10, all right? This right here is 20, right here is 30. Oh my gosh, right here, all oh, this stupid freaking mouse. Keeps bugging out. 40 and right here is 50. 
there your answer is 10 times 5 times 10 equals 50. Now if it's 10 if it's 10 times 5 it's the same thing just a little bit different. Just so you know, it's all just different. All right? Everything isn't different, okay? 5 times 10, same answer, but it's in a different form than what 10 times 5 would be. But they all equal the same thing. So, let's do 5 times 5. One of the easiest most um, known problems out there that you will see a lot when you're first new to this. Your answer, of course, is going to be the one and only 25. 5 times 5 is 25. That means there's 5 people on this side, 5 people on the other side. Combining them together equals 25. Just by basically adding 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, all will get you 25. Just add 5 until you get to 25. So, as I said in one of my videos you've been lied to, I explained that basically multiplying the same as adding but a lot easier and right to the fact. Now, dividing. One of the hard ones you're ever going to do. Um, in my opinion, it's not really too hard. Okay, it's not that hard at all. So, you're going to see. Can 7, is 7 smaller than 2? If, of course not. So, you're going to put an X or a 0 up there. That means 0. X means 0. Can 7 go into 21? Yes, 7 times, so 7 times 3 equals 21. Now, not all problems are going to be this way, okay? Like, for an example, if you do 7 into 49, that's 7. So, of course, you're going to have answers where it actually fits in there perfectly. That means it, it doesn't, you know, be less than it. So, one of the problems you might see is one that you, that goes into it, but it's not exactly that number. That's okay, because at the end, if it, if it can go into the number at the end of the problem, that means it's a valid one. All right, so your answer up there is 3, not 21. Oh, my gosh, is 3. 7 times 3 is 21, therefore your answer will be 3. Moving on with your next one. This one's pretty easy, I think. 9 into 90. Can 9 go? Yes. 9 can go in. Minus this is 0. This is 0. Can 9 go into 0? No. So up there is 10. 9 times 10 will give you the answer of 90. So, let's just finish off. This is my longest video, about 14 minutes long. This video went on for 12 minutes. So that's, still our, that's all we're going to have time for, guys, today. So I hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.